You no, got that. You got it, that key it, quick. That is impressive. Yeah, I think it's E flat. Uh, but uh, the 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 interesting thing I think about this is that it's almost like acting like a reverb on the voice, but um, you can either have it be a pitched reverb that responds. You know, if we do, right. if we do the autoplay. <laughs> Wow. Um, it's like a talking or, reverb. Yeah. Or if you turn off the autoplay and I'm like, I just want all the reverb to be like a, a G flat. <laughs> or like have the, the reverb, you know, sound follow the chords of your song. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the reverb is super you know, loud there and a little bit mushy with this particular example. But um, yeah, this that was just an idea that I had of like, well, what if, you know, if I'm using the vocoder as this kind of, well, shimmer, this layer right, on right. top of what the original would also be adding. Um, I love that. The, I love that concept of, of, yeah, I mean, even to call it a layer, you know, that it, you know, so it's so easy to think of, of BBX and vocoders in general as the feature of the sound and not the supporting element to what remains the feature, you know? So yeah, and, you know, yeah, totally. You, you see that when we see it in production, modern production, you see that's the sort of stuff that, that Zed does where he'll have the main melody and he'll kind of augment it with a vocoder. But this is like even another level of that where it's where you're augmenting it with an effect that is being driven by a vocoder, but is, you know, supporting the main vocal. That is really a cool, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to kind of use that in a track. Uh -huh. 